Have you ever wondered why digital markets seem to be dominated by a few big names? And do you think there's a need for regulation to level the playing field? In the digital world, a handful of tech giants hold sway over vast territories of the internet. Their influence stretches from search engines to social media platforms, app stores to messenger services. These digital behemoths, often referred to as gatekeepers, dictate the rules of the game. This dominance raises questions about fair competition and the need for regulation. Enter the Digital Markets Act, or DMA. This new legislation from the European Union is a bold attempt to make the digital sector more equitable and competitive. It aims to provide a safer internet experience, empower citizens, enhance consumer protections, and encourage the development of high-quality digital services. The DMA is one of the first regulatory tools to comprehensively regulate the gatekeeper power of these large digital companies. So, let's dive in and explore the Digital Markets Act, the EU's answer to these pressing questions. So, what exactly is the Digital Markets Act? Uh, well, let's break it down in simple terms. Imagine the digital market as a bustling city. Just like in any city, there are key players who hold a lot of power, akin to the city's infrastructure providers. They're the ones who keep the city functioning smoothly. In the realm of the digital market, these key players are what we call gatekeepers. Now, the Digital Markets Act, or the DMA, is like a set of rules or a constitution for this digital city. It's a law established by the European Union with the sole purpose of making sure this city, our digital market, is fair and contestable for everyone. It's all about creating a safer, more empowering digital environment, enhancing consumer protections and fostering higher quality digital services. But who are these gatekeepers? They're essentially large digital platforms that provide core services. Think of online search engines, app stores and messenger services. These gatekeepers have a significant influence over the digital market, hence the name. They're essentially guarding the gates to the digital world. The DMA works by establishing a set of clearly defined objective criteria to identify these gatekeepers. Once identified, these gatekeepers are expected to abide by a list of obligations and prohibitions listed in the DMA. For instance, they are restricted on how they can use people's data. Users must give their explicit consent for their activities to be tracked for advertising purposes. They are also banned from ranking their own products or services higher than others in online searches. It's all about leveling the playing field. The DMA is one of the first regulatory tools to comprehensively regulate the gatekeeper power of the largest digital companies. It's like a new sheriff in town, ensuring that everyone plays by the rules and no one has an unfair advantage. So, in essence, the act is about regulating these gatekeepers to ensure a fair and safe digital market. It's about making sure that the digital city is a place where everyone has an equal opportunity to thrive. Let's delve into the specifics. What are the key points of the Digital Markets Act? At the heart of the Digital Markets Act are several key measures that aim to level the digital playing field. Firstly, the act places tighter restrictions on how digital gatekeepers can use people's data. To put it simply, users must give their explicit consent for their activities to be tracked for advertising purposes. This means no more unsolicited snooping into your digital life, unless you say it's okay. The second measure is about interoperability of messaging services. Imagine being able to send messages from WhatsApp, owned by Meta, directly to a completely different messaging service like Telegram. The act makes this possible, breaking down the walls between different platforms and allowing users to communicate across them more freely. Next, the act gives users the option to uninstall preloaded applications on their devices. So that game or app that came with your new phone and that you never use, you can finally get rid of it. The final key measure is a ban on gatekeepers ranking their own products or services higher than others in online searches. This means that gatekeepers can't manipulate search results to favor their own offerings over those of their competitors. So when you're looking for a product or a service, you'll see a wider range of choices, not just those pushed by the platform you're using. These measures are part of a larger effort to regulate the power of digital gatekeepers. The Digital Markets Act is one of the first regulatory tools to comprehensively address this issue, aiming to make the online world more equitable and user-friendly. And while these measures are significant, it's important to remember that the act doesn't change EU competition rules. 
These rules continue to apply fully, complementing the measures outlined in the Digital Markets Act. These measures are designed to give users more power and choice, and to prevent gatekeepers from abusing their dominant positions. Now that we understand what the Act is, what does it mean for us? Well, the Digital Markets Act, or the DMA, promises to bring about significant changes for users, digital companies, and the overall market. It's a pioneering regulatory tool, one of the first of its kind, designed to take on the might of the largest digital companies, and it's set to have a profound impact. For us users, it's all about empowerment and protection. The DMA brings in tighter restrictions on how our data can be used by digital gatekeepers. No longer can our activities be tracked for advertising purposes without our explicit consent. It's a huge step towards a safer internet, where our privacy is respected. Moreover, the DMA has a focus on enhancing user experience, and one way it does this is by presenting us with the option to uninstall preloaded applications on our devices. No more clutter or unnecessary apps taking up space. We get to decide what stays and what goes. Then we have the impact on digital companies. Gatekeepers or large digital platforms providing core services now have a clear set of obligations and prohibitions to adhere to. They're banned from ranking their own products or services higher than others in online searches, promoting fair competition, and preventing any abuse of power. This also opens up opportunities for smaller businesses and startups, as the Act fosters a more contestable digital market. With gatekeepers held in check, there's more room for innovation, diversity, and healthy competition. Yet while the DMA is a powerful instrument, it's not standalone. It complements but does not change the existing competition rules in the European Union. These rules continue to apply fully, working in tandem with the DMA to ensure a fair and competitive digital market. And so, the Digital Markets Act stands at the forefront of regulatory measures, set to bring about a new era of digital fairness and user empowerment. It's a bold move a necessary move, and one that's likely to have a ripple effect across the globe. In a nutshell, the Digital Markets Act is a game-changer set to reshape the digital landscape in favor of users and fair competition.